The room at the Inn Winter Shelter opened its doors this evening and will continue to stay open. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Mitchell Kaminsky. This is the first time in 16 years that the shelter does not have a close date. ABC 17's Grace Pankey joins us in studio. Grace, you visited the shelter today to find out how these changes will affect Columbia's homeless population. Mitchell, the Room of the Inn is an emergency shelter with the mission to provide a safe place to sleep here in Columbia. In previous years, the shelter was just a winter shelter, making this its first time that it will remain open year round. The Room of the Inn shelter relies on its volunteers. They had no problem finding any on Sunday. I spoke with John Trapp, the executive director of Room at the Inn, who tells me the shelter has more than enough volunteers for its opening day. However, he anticipates that the number of volunteers will go down. Volunteers help transport laundry and people, as well as serve and help with the check-in process. Trapp says that as they shift to a full-time shelter, he is excited to invest more time into the training of the volunteers and turn them into professionals. As the shelter transitions to an emergency shelter, John hopes to provide opportunities for those who stay there. We're going to try to help folks get into services, get on the housing list, and hopefully move out of homelessness. Homelessness has been a growing problem across the United States. In Missouri, there are over 6,000 people experiencing homelessness. I spoke with Nakia Johnson, who will be staying at the shelter tonight. He thinks that the year-round shelter is going to help people and looks forward to seeing the outcome. Look forward to see what it looks like. And, then, um, and don't give up on everybody yet. You know, it ain't over. So we'll see what's to come. The shelter will also be providing a shuttle to transport people to the shelter. This shuttle will pick people up from the loaves and fishes soup kitchen in the mornings and evenings as needed. The shelter does ask that people use the city's transit system to get to the shelter. Thank you, Grace. Trapp added that the shelter accepts donations. You can donate at the Room at the Inn's website, where you can also find a list of items they need.